met Alex last night. He has another YouTube channel. Check him out, Alex Perucci. And uh, he just does a lot of stuff on his NA, which you said has how many miles? 200 and something thousand. Over 200,000 mile. First year NA Miata. I mean, it's like old school. Look who just showed up. You want some coffee? I don't really drink coffee, actually. What do you drink? What do, pe what do people drink when they don't drink coffee? <laughs> <laughs> not, some people actually don't need caffeine. Wow. Sugar. You're, be <laughs> you're a better man than me. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> We're just up here, two old geezers on the porch. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Rip it. There goes the camera car. <laughs> just hear the CVT. <laughs> not wanting. Oh, that thing sounds good. drive Alex's car oh. wow this feels old <laughs> dude this is perfect though this fitment is on par with this wheel fitment love the checkered floor mats I gotta do a whole review of this car manual windows manual all the things <laughs> definitely not used to using like a key that's weird how do I use this it's a bit more vibrating and loud in here. He does have the Sony, I think, um, AX100, which I'm jealous of because he has a volume knob. But uh, yeah, this is absolutely mint. I love this. The GoPro right there. Yeah, this is fantastic. All right, time for some rollers. 275,000 miles. Just wrapped up filming some stuff down by the dam and now it's time for the famous group photo which is just the most insane thing I've ever seen. Never seen this many Miatas in one place. Wish, really wish I had the drone. I'll show you what's in store. Now it would have been really cool to have everyone lined up by generation and color and stuff but that headache would be insane and not even everyone's like actually registering but um, you can dream right? I see the Fly Miata guys over there. Looks like they got their cars up front. Holy cow. I will say if you wanna get any ideas on what to do to a Miata, uh, here are all the ideas in one place. <laughs> but they're telling everyone to get up to the hill now, which I guess means we're gonna take the final photo and everyone will be in the background. This is insane. Thank you all for coming this year. Um, for anyone who's about to ask me, we do not have the final toe yet, but I expect a record turnout for at least the third year in a row. This event would not be possible without you guys showing up, so give a round of applause for yourself.
everyone is rolling out. I've, I've actually been standing there for about an hour watching people roll out, just talking to viewers and friends and uh, making new friends. Honestly, this is such a good place to make friends. There are so many people, and even if you don't know what the common interests are, there's obviously one. Uh, but yeah, it's so awesome to connect with people and that can be the root in conversation. Hey, we both have a Miata. Tell me about your Miata. Or in some cases, uh, they may not have a Miata like Steve. And that's fine. Just talk to people. They're probably all car people. They might have who knows how many other things. I've heard people networking, people meeting, maybe love interests are starting. Who knows? But uh, I'm just so glad I came. I know it was 1500 miles, but totally worth it. I'll be here next year, I'm sure and I'm already getting ideas on maybe what to do with my car from this insane landscape of ideas. So that's the group photo, happens on Saturday, kind of a little bit before lunch. Next up is the NC Miata meet. The only issue is I've lost my NC Miata. Um, I didn't park it, Christian parked it, and I have no idea where he ended up, so that's an uphill battle. But once I find him and my car, we're going to the NC meet. See, now that's actually a boat. <laughs> it's like a huge yacht compared to all these little guys. What's your favorite color? I like the green one. It stands out. I, I'm a sucker for orange, but... Yep. Like the one, so. There was some orange one somewhere. It was in the group photo. Yeah, see if he was. shows up. That was the, that was the Canadian Canadian crew, I think. Stunning, yeah. All right, we have wrapped up the NC Miata meet, which is honestly the one part I was most excited about. Slight bias, but uh, great turnout. A lot of people have already left, but we had a mixture of you know LS swaps, 2.5, even ITBs and that gorgeous Fuchsia car, and a lot of NC1, NC2, NC3. Just everyone enjoying a good time. Hard tops, retractable hard tops, removable hard tops, soft tops, stock, modded, manual, auto. Everyone was here doesn't really matter. I'm just thrilled that everyone seems to get along and just enjoy life together in this beautiful valley with the river and Fontana Dam. So we are going to head back up. I think there's like a beer swap at some point. Going to see some more vendors. Go back up and chill at the headquarters. And I found a taker for my old suspension that Christian's been holding on to for like two years. So that's wild. There they go. <laughs> yeah, viewers uh, who are heading to Asheville, I'm kind of jealous. Um, but uh, yeah. So cool to meet everyone. Thank you all of you for coming up and saying hi, who have recognized the channel and been following and supporting and everything for so long. Super glad. We gotta get Jackson out here next time. Put in the comments, you wanna see Colored and Light at Miata's of the Gap next year, and he'll be there. I'll force him. If I have to pick him up, I will. And uh, yeah, on to the next. You're wondering why I'm walking into this BMW. I finally found a taker for my suspension. If you guys remember two years ago, Christian helped me replace my coilovers, but I took off perfectly fine Bilsteins, which are the upgrade suspension package on club models just like that. You have one that's leaking, right? Yeah. So time for some new springs and shocks and hey, they'll get you along the road till you get coilovers. But uh, I trust anyone with a donut shirt and Crocs. Mm. <laughs> so get these loaded up. Congrats, you're the new rightful owner. <laughs> there he goes. Taking a nice little breather in the AC. Not sponsored yet. Do you think they should sponsor me? What do you think? Yes. <laughs> yes, you like I it. Think so. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I think Ghost, this is perfect. I mean, come on. Can't get much better than this. We don't have to redo any branding or anything. Swedish Fish, they've got so many flavors.
Thankfully, the sun has started to play peekaboo a little bit, a little bit of cloud cover every once in a while because I've drenched through like three shirts worth of sweat. But I keep this shirt on because I freaking love it. Moss Mata does have four of these shirts, one of each generation Miata, so check those out on their website, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, we're about to do the Moss Mata raffle. The tent is starting to get crowded, and so we'll see how many people show up for that. But again, they're raffling off the chance to buy all of the special shift knobs. There's 10 of them. One was given away uh, to support charity, and the other nine being raffled off to nine lucky people who get to buy the special one of 10 shift knobs. Uh, shortly after that is the actual Miatas of the Gap raffle, I think. I think at four o'clock. So Saturday is a lot of raffle days and just a lot going on. I mean, Vendor Alley's got stuff all day. People are, of course, going out into the mountains and back. A couple cruises, a couple different meets. The group photo, of course, which was absolutely chaotic. Uh, I wonder if they'll do it in a bigger location next year because so many people couldn't even get in. But I'm going to go check out the raffle. The first knob of Christmas. All right, Moss Miata raffle's done. Next one up is Miata's at the Gap. People are already camping out in their chairs, so that's uh, dedication. And I am just, I need to go find like a shower or three swimming pools or something. This is wild. Although the pools out here are probably pretty hot too. I'm just not used to this weather. I feel like a fish out of water and I need water. But while everyone's at the raffle, that's a good time to go look at all the uh, booths again. <laughs> Glad everyone has shade, or at least most of them. Hyperspeed Media leaving in this little rig. I think it's so cool. So we are leaving the uh, the show, the raffle. So it's been going on for an hour and a half. Dude, I'm almost as tan as you. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. But... Yeah, you got me beat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are leaving. Look at this little lineup right here. We got the ketchup and mustard. This wild little exoset thing. This car is insane. This is so beautiful. And they have a matching trailer and scooter, which we've seen yeah. in other cars. And then this is my car. And holy cow. My new friend Bo, viewer from Florida, went ahead and left me this. And he said, as long as you do some content with it, it's all yours. And I was like, yes, sir, I will absolutely do it. I was hoping to catch him before he left. But uh, this is my new uh, Carbon Miata diffuser that will be going to match the uh, spoiler. So get it either wrapped or painted or something black. It sits down there. It's going to look super sweet. Maybe even white. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is going to go home with me. Holy cow. So this is why you take a car in Miata's of the Gaps. You can carry parts home with you. You got to figure out where to put it. That's only figure out where to put it. Uh, fortunately, I do have a passenger seat and no passenger. So uh, <laughs> cheers. But we're going to go find some food. And I mean, it's pretty much wrapped up. People are leaving. Vendors are tearing down. And God, it's crazy seeing Miata's as far as the eye can see. And this many exosets. And <sighs> wow, I'm so exhausted. How tired are you? I mean, you've been working out. <laughs> This ain't nothing. <laughs> Go run a few miles. V8. Oh my gosh. This thing's got a rip. It's got the sheet metal intake manifold from Summit, looks like. Wow. We'll definitely install the view. Yeah, I daily this thing too. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> So as I've been editing this, I've been thinking about what I've learned from my very first Miatas at the Gap. My main takeaways are, in no particular order, be prepared. The packing list was fantastic, although I didn't use my swim trunks or my umbrella or my chair or my towel, but a lot of people did. However, one thing you should also be prepared about is the fact that there is little to no cell service. 
Be very explicit when coordinating your arrivals with a time and a place. I got lucky a lot of times when looking and finding my people. Um, you may not get that lucky. You'll find me out of people everywhere, which is awesome. But yeah, you can't count on service in the area. But speaking of meeting people, so don't be shy, meet people. Cheers to that. Any common thread can turn into an amazing conversation. I'm so glad so many of you came up to say hi, because frankly, I'm a bit shy. But once the conversation starts, it can go so many directions. That's right, we all have at least one thing in common, right? Miatas. So get out of your comfort zone a little bit, push your limits, but maybe don't push your limits on the dragon. Safety first. There were a few cars claimed by the dragon this year, a few speeding tickets issued. Things happen, accidents happen. But if you're careful and considerate, you'll most likely come away thrilled and unscathed. But it is risky. Even if you drive perfectly safely, you have to understand that there are other people on the road being absolute idiots. I didn't crash my car, but I did crash my drone. Which leads me to my fourth lesson learned. I guess get a drone with omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. This was its, its camera cover. <laughs> In all seriousness, losing and crashing that drone was a huge bummer. And right before I got to the gap, but I was immediately greeted by the amazing dragon, amazing drive, so many awesome people, such a great weekend that it really helped turn around my mood. But it is still a bummer, lesson learned. Now about that new DJI Air 3 drone that they just unveiled. But all of this to say, I truly had a blast. I hope to see so many of your beautiful faces there next year. I hope to have a new drone, more modifications on the car, and I will literally drag Jackson, AKA Colored and Light, alongside me. So, who's coming? Man, I cannot miss out on Miata's at the Gap next year. I've, I've gotta go. What the? Uh, uh. Okay, 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 I'll drive, I'll drive!